you start talking again. I could be wrong. All right, well, now we're good to go. It is 7 o'clock. Welcome to the regular scheduled council meeting for Monday, October 2nd, 2017 at 7 p.m. We're going to go with the roll call when you're ready, Mr. Thank you. Good evening, council. Uh, Mayor Lowry? Here. Mr. Reynolds? Here. Mr. Lindsay? Here. Mr. Lighty? Here. Mr. Rick Lowry? Here. Mr. Lefley? Here. And Mr. Craybock? Here. All council members are present. <laughs> Thank you, sir. He went to his year. All right, let's have time. Uh, invocation by Councilman Harris. Sour heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come here tonight um, with heavy hearts, Lord. There's a lot of um, hurt going on in this world, God, and we just ask that you put your healing hands over it. We know that you are the giver of all things good, and for that we are thankful, God. We ask that you uh, just continue to bless the first responders all across this world and here in town, Lord, and just bless this city, bless this council, and help everything we do glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and, States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Actions on the regular council meeting minutes for September 9th, 2017. So moved. September 18th. Oh. Someone's again. Sorry. Second. <laughs> All right, so Mr. Craybacher, then Mr. Lindsay? Yes, sir. Any okay. discussion tonight, Mr. Kitko, when you're ready? Uh, Mr. Lighty? Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Leslie? Yes. Mr. Craybacher? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. And Mr. Lindsay? Yes. Passes 7 to 0. Thank you, sir. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to go down and say a few things before we get onto the communications and city management report. I want to thank everyone who attended the Heritage Flight Festival this weekend. It was a huge success. Uh, I just wanted to thank everyone who helped the flight through all the local businesses. That festival would not be possible without the local businesses. They were the driving force behind that festival as far as the financial the major part of the festival. Uh, so big thanks to local businesses, the flight crews, Council ROTC, uh, Nicolau Fire Department, EMS, American Legion, the Clark County Sheriff's Department, the city workers who uh, kept the parade out locked off the us and kept us all safe so we could enjoy that as well. Um, I'm sure you guys are probably still fooled as much as I am. I think everything was at that festival yeah. at least once. <laughs> so uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Fantastic job. Thank you, sir. It was fun. All right, moving on to. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. I was just going to ask if you could get the recipe from the fire department for the hot dog. <laughs> Best hot dog I ever ate in my life. Yeah, I heard that a few times this weekend, Chief. It's <laughs> fantastic. Especially when you added the jalapeno stuff on it. I didn't think a hot dog was good. That relish was good. I didn't think a hot dog could taste that good. Seriously. Good yes. stuff. Yeah, pork chops. Uh, you could open up a restaurant, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Too much like pork. Too much. <laughs> but thanks again for all your help, Chief. Thank everybody else. We worked out and did our normal two runs up there in the parade and got them to the city now. Yeah. All right. Well, moving on. Uh, communication from the month. Drop down to the city manager's port. Mr. Bridge, good evening. Good evening. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, members of council, members of public. I'd like to share the city manager's report. Under action report, need to set dates for council work sessions on the tax credit. Early voting begins on October 11th, and the election date is November 7th. I do need to contact our attorney to get uh, a few things cleared up. One being, uh, since council doesn't want to use city funds, is the act of us holding a town hall meeting count as using city funds? Or does that mean that the city just cannot pay to put a mailer out? Uh, but e either way, either the city needs to put on the, uh, the meeting or the PAC will have to put on the meeting. Um, so if you guys kind of want to meddle around with some dates, we can, I can get an email going, Shane, later on, maybe tomorrow. Check your availability. I did reach out to Sacred Heart Church. They are willing to let us use their facility as well as the new Carlisle Elementary School. So I don't think we'll have a problem finding a location. It's just getting the dates down. Okay. And uh, moving on under informational items, trick or treat for 2017. 
will be held Saturday, October 28th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, please be safe. Drivers, please be on the lookout for little ghouls and goblins that will be crossing the streets. New playground equipment. Held another meeting in regards to acquire baby swings for Willowick and Smith Parks. I'm trying to get that 100% grant funded. Um, we will be adding mulch to certain play areas that are low. Um, and then we will, uh, and one more note, if the tax credit should pass in November, non-essential upgrades to city parks will be non-existent. We just won't have the money to do any kind of massive upgrade for playground equipment. Uh, street repairs, Wadadal is now completed. Applewood is completed, spinning is completed. Willowick is now completed, as well as Cloverleaf, Pepperwood, and Parentis. And to add on top of that, a municipal parking lot was recently repaved and restriped. Question, when was the last time the city of New Carlisle repaired this many streets in a single year? Please do not stop the progress and vote no on issue four. Smoke-free zones in the city. A while ago, the city council was the first in Clark County to pass us a measure that I, we had presented um, in a, putting a smoking ban within 20 feet of, of outdoor recreational areas to include our playground equipments, our ball fields, and the open air shelter. The question is, did that make a difference? And the answer is yes. What I have included in with this council packet is a uh, little brochure flyer that I got from the agency that put this in place with us. Um, we, the, the last result is they have noticed a significant decrease in smoking related litter that has been located in our parks. And how they came to that was uh, before the signs were installed, they had a few staff members come out and collect a bunch of cigarette butts and other litter associated with smoking. They quantified that uh, litter and then they waited till after the signs were up and then they came back recently and then redid the same thing and noticed a sharp decline in those cigarette smoking related litter items. So keep up the good work with this. It's made a difference and I just wanted to share that with everyone. And the last item on the city manager's report is our public flu clinics that is um, attached with this packet. I also have put the information on the city's Facebook page. So please uh, check out the city's Facebook page. We also have these uh, at the city building if you would like to stop in and get one. So definitely take advantage of this. I do think that everyone is recommending the flu vaccine again for this year. Um, so please take a minute to uh, come get the information. And I do believe that is all I have for the city manager report. I would be happy to entertain any questions. Council, any questions for the city manager? Mr. Lundy. Mr. Reed. Might be better if I ask uh, Mr. Kitko, but I'll ask you. When will the limbs be picked up off the tennis court out here? I think they've been there about long enough. Um, I think last time we discussed that, it was the remaining tree needs to come down. Yes, uh, we already have a risers tree service. It could be any time. Uh, we're waiting until they get the tree down because it's just going to make more of a mess. So they're probably going to put some of that on more on the court so they don't damage anymore, and then we're going to repair the fence. Okay. But that whole tree has got to come down, and it's already on the schedule. Okay. And it's also a good deterrent not to clean it off because we don't want people playing on the court and a limb fall down. Okay. Uh, I believe there's a gate that you can just lock it, right? No, well, the kids can still get through a gate. But thank you. Yes, Mr. Light. I was actually going to ask that. You know, what would keep somebody from just walking over there and pulling them out? Because I was actually yeah. thinking about doing that. So maybe it's, we should tie it off or something like that it's uh it's secure right now okay you're talking about on the outside correct the, does it say the out the inside is secure um the outside it, it, we, we could take that whole half the park out of there okay. we, and we got more trees throughout the park too no doubt all right thank you council any questions or comments i just want to say thank you mr kicko and everyone else who had a hand in the Impressive street repair. You got seven streets of repaid and one finished off of reconstruction. Uh, what kind of heard of that from them or Mr. Reynolds you live there? How's your I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not swerving. <laughs> you know. So, it's great. It's, uh, I mean that's gotta be the for the people living there. Everybody. Right? Everybody. Nothing better than Applewood, Willowick, yeah. spinning. Everybody. We're all finished up ceiling now. Yeah, ceiling's done. We have some manual adjustments to complete, but that's not shutting any of the roads down or anything like that. The furnace people are really appreciative too. I mean, when I saw on Facebook, some of those folks were real keen to thank them for the roads and their new curve and gutter. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just one to add on to that or to ask a question. Is the dry well still over there? Or do yes, you, uh, we are sticking with the dry well system as we reconstruct streets, but they're going from a three foot diameter, about 12 foot deep, to a six foot diameter, a uh, 12 foot, foot yeah. Foot. So, and then those have number twos all the way around, which is very large rock. So they actually have a, the capacity of like a dump truck worth of water in there. Outside of uh, what a dog, which was um, state highway funds that are given to the city, I think that runs about fourteen thousand. I haven't got the final number, so I think we went a little heavy on asphalt down there. Uh, the other were right around two. 200,000, I think, is what we come out. It might be a little more, but uh, I'm still waiting to get the final numbers because they're still uh, getting quantities calculated. And the life expectancy for those is usually about 10 years because of the. 10, yeah, 10 to 15 at least. Um, when we, well, one of my look at is like Plumwood, um, when it was done, I forget how many years ago, um, it needs some crack seal, but if we can keep on crack seal, I can't see easily getting 20 out of it. But you're not like a reconstruction uh, life. A useful life is 30, but you usually can get 50 easily. Thank you. All right. All good, Mr. Birch? Here. Yep. Good. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Mr. Kiko. All right. Dropping down to comments. For comments from members of the public. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please go to the podium, name and address, and keep you close to five minutes if possible. Mr. Scott, good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, it's a good evening. Good evening. Ronald Cobb, 202 Villa Drive. I'd like to thank Mr. Lady for the, I think you was in charge of the car show. Not really in charge, just parking. Well, <laughs> I mean, I got a comment. It was a good car show Friday night. They had good weather. I'd like to also thank Mr. Collier and Mr. Collier for the what fine job they've done on the parade. They've done a fine, outstanding job, got everybody lined up, got them going. And I just wanted to show some appreciation there. Yeah, Kathy and Mark Spencer, do you know them? No. They, uh, they're on our committee, they're the ones that take care of the uh, car show. They're the ones that head it up. Okay. And, yeah, they did a great job. Actually, after, after the car show, the next day I walked up to her and I said, you know, I'm a little disappointed. So if you'd have tried it a little harder, we could have fit a few more cars. <laughs> Whoever's in car, I don't know where you're going to go. <laughs> I heard anywhere from 700 to 1,000, but Dave McGorder did it. He went through with a clicker and he clicked off almost 700. So oh, man. I think that's probably about right. I heard 900, but I just, I just don't see you go out fit 900 cars. I, mean, I guess it's possible, but that's a lot of cars. I don't you know. We have them in spaces that I never see. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a call, didn't we? I, I was telling them right before the meeting started that they were trying to park on Main past Lake Street at yeah. one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Well, uh, Great uh, night. Just going to have to get more room next right, year. Can, can you work on that next year? Yeah. Can you take a wide the streets a little bit? Not yeah. I'm not getting into the business owner stuff again. As long as I don't take parking spots. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we proved uh, how many parking spots are truly work. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yes. Let's change that subject. No. Um, All right. I do want to piggyback off that, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the parade, you know, we were in it, but uh, I know it was super busy. Like there was a lot of things into it, and it really was kind of impressive watching your committee work on that and uh, how smoothly it went. So again, thanks, Mr. Collier, yeah. and uh, be sure to tell your dad thank you so much. It was it was a lot of fun to be a part of. Thank you, sir. What was your name? Janelle. What's your address again? 219. Got it. Thank you. What was your favorite food, Janelle? Oh, it was hamburgers from um, no, not Berkeley. What is it? Masonic Hall. Masonic. They ran out closed up. They ran out food and closed up. Yeah. Did that Friday night, didn't it? 
Saturday. 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 Satur
executive session done tonight. Any other discussion before we move on? Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Mr. Mayor, I'm sorry. This is great. Should we uh, maybe possibly put a work session on to discuss our ballot initiative? I would say that would have to be done through the PAC since council, council? has decided not to make it sure. Yeah. And shoot out some emails to each other. All right. Just, Sounds good. Just want to double check before we miss an opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Rhodes. I do. Just an announcement. Uh, I think most of you know every year on June 14th is a flag retirement ceremony at the American Legion. They burned so many, retired so many flags last June, which was, I think, 10,000. Tom, is that right? 10,000? We now have 10,000 more. They're going to do it again on November the 11th. It will not be as big a blown out ceremony as it is in the past in June, but you're welcome to show up and watch it. It will be the full ceremony, okay? And there will be food. I'm sorry? November the 11th? November the 11th, yes. Yeah, it has to be, the, when you're retired, it has to be a military holiday. And that is better. Do you get, do you it says it does, right? I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, what time does it start? It'll start at dusk, and like always, what time does it get? Yeah, well, November, 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 November. daylight savings will be a week before that. That's so what I'm saying, and I can't find it at so, <laughs> Probably, yeah. Good I would problems. be there an hour before dark. Okay. I don't think the paratroopers are going to jump this year. Like I say, it's kind of scaled down, but anybody that wants to go is welcome to go see them. Sure. Where do they get flags? I mean, I'm sure they get flags locally, but do you get them from other states? People bring them from everywhere. Other legions bring them. Fire departments bring them. Everybody, I mean businesses, it's it's just non-stop now. Great. Uh, like I said, in six months, we've had 20,000. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, Mr. Lindsay. And, and to follow off from Mr. Uh, Lowry, I also think this could be dropped off of any at any time, Monday through Friday, is that correct? Or any time, Monday through hours? Saturday. Through Saturday? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was yep. anybody there. Any time. Okay. We also collect them at the station. We've got four private stations. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lowry. Council, any other questions, comments? Audience, anything else before we wrap it up? Chief? Um, just real quick, this is uh, fire prevention. We will be <coughs> next week starting on the 8th, and we will be having a department open house for fire prevention week on the 11th, starting at uh, 6.30 in the evening. Uh, we'll have some different fire trucks things going on, and also the crews will be doing a auto extrication demo, uh, demo for everyone who wants to come out and there possibly will be the hot dogs <coughs> from the... Uh... <laughs> Are they going to be free this time around? Yes. Bonus. Wow. <laughs> Chief, when do you um, initiate it? When do you start on the program when you get the free smoke protectors? Is that something you do? I mean, I know we, we offer them every year, I think. But is that something you have to go after to get them? We, yeah, we have to try. Our, what helped us last year, we got a donation from a uh, local Walmart donated 200 to us. Uh, but we also use some of our grant money to go out and buy them. What about, could you, I would run this up because it just terrifies me to death. What about uh, carbon dioxide detectors? Is there a way you guys can work on that? We, we've been looking at that to see, but they're a little bit more expensive than what the smoke detectors are. And we, most apartments shy away from the combination detectors that are smoke and uh, CO detectors. Okay. But um, we've been looking at it, trying to find a way that we can start picking some of those up. Okay. Thank you. I'm just got one. Great about just one thing. Um, I've been in contact with Second Harvest. Second Harvest is coming back to New Carlisle uh, twice. It, they're going to do it on the second Monday, and um, they want to change the time. They've been get, telling me the right time. But they're going to be up at Park Lane, and also they're going to be at New Carlisle Elementary. You know, a lot of people take advantage of that. A lot of people take advantage of that. And uh, so that's why they're coming back to different locations. You know, and they're going to continue it as long as the money holds up. So, thank you, sir. And uh, is there anybody else? One more time? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Thank you.